everyone, it's Allison. Welcome back to the Tiny Herd. So today I wanted to do an updated pet room tour. I've made some changes in here that I am really excited about and I wanted to take you guys through the entire room. So let's go ahead and get into this. All right, so I'm currently at the door. You can see we have a baby gate here for the bunnies. We don't really lock them in here. They don't spend a ton of time in here because they are 100% free roam, but I do have the gate there just in case. I'm just gonna start going around the room from here and show you guys exactly what is in here. So you can see to start off with, we have this nice little sitting and table area. Um, we just have this chair in here where we hang out a lot. Have these two pillows. One has cute bunnies on it and one has cute guinea pig on it. I got those from Etsy and I will link the shops if I can find them. So then we just have <laughs> power strip that connects a whole lot of stuff, including our security cameras that we use to keep an eye on the pets. So I will point those out as we go around the room, but those are super nice to have because we can see what any of the pets are doing at pretty much any time. Just nice for peace of mind if we're traveling or at work or anything like that. So just going around the room here, I'm going to go around this bottom part first and then I will take you around the stuff up on the walls. So let's talk about this little cage area first off okay so starting with the table area first i just have like this nice little area to put things on pretty much so i have our air purifier paper towels tissues and then a little basket that just has some random things in it and i have a cute little coaster from guinea pigs weekly then i have these tables that we just built they are made using melamine from uh, Lowe's. So it is three quarter inch thick melamine that we cut to size. And then the table legs are actually from Ikea. So underneath you can see is the bunnies area. It's kind of their little home base, litter box, water, their little Heidi, Ikea bed, all that good stuff is down underneath. Right here, this is the tub that holds the bedding for the bunny's litter box and then on top of that there's just some puppy pads and wool of tunnels for the guinea pigs. Up on the table itself there is two CNC cages so this first one holds Johnny and June. They are in a two by five so they live in this section and then this section holds Georgie. He is a lone pig that lives in a two by four with a two by two loft um, we are actually looking into getting him a buddy. He's been on his own for about a year now, a little over a year since he lost his friend. Um, we did actually try to bond him with Johnny and June, but obviously that's two boys. I didn't have a lot of confidence that it would work. Funny enough, it was actually June that was not okay with it. So we are going to be trying to find the, the right piggy for Mr. Georgie here. So he lives in a two by four with a two by two loft like I mentioned. So that is what cages are on these tables here. I'm really, really happy with this because it used to be just the CNC cages holding themselves up with the grids on some shelves and now there is a base all the way underneath. So they're a lot sturdier. Everything was rebuilt, re-zip tied together. Um, there is plexiglass between these two cages that I got from C uh, guinea pig cages store that hook into the grids you can see So it is two panels. I will link that down below as well if you're interested I'm actually thinking about getting some to do the back of their cages so that stuff is not falling down against the wall But for now this works pretty well now. Let's talk about what is up on the wall in this section so First off, we have this nice little shelf that holds some um, mementos and uh, Luna and Freddie's ashes, their tiles, paw prints, just some nice sentimental things up there. So that is a nice little shelf. Then we have another security camera. I have these in here just so we could see everything that the pets are doing at pretty much any time if I'm traveling or at work or whatever. We have these cute guinea pig pictures over here. I will link them down below there from Etsy. Um, this <laughs> picture frame doesn't actually have anything in it. I'm waiting for an Etsy shop to come back from Christmas vacation so that I can get the picture that I want for that. 
And then we just have this little picture hanger that has a ton of different pictures of all the pets throughout the years. So I really love having that where I can look back and see everyone. Moving on from that section of the room, you can see back in this corner above the girl's cage, there is another camera there. And then just some shelves with pictures and a photo book. And then these, I can't, the shop doesn't really exist anymore, but I had these made back in like 2015. And this was the original Tiny Herd with Belle, Cowley, Lily, and Luna. So I just love having those up there. They're really cute. And like I said, they are above the girl's cage. So this is where my three senior female piggies live. This is a DIY wood and plexiglass cage that my dad built for us, also made with melamine. So all the tables match, but you can see their cage there. And then they do have a two by two CNC extension on the end just because I wanted to give them more space. The wood part back there is 80 inches long and then whatever the addition of the two grids there is, is how big their cage is. But I love just having it nice and open and easy to access, especially with the nice big window right above it. So underneath their cage is just more space for the bunnies. It's pretty much a full run of the room for them, but there is some paper back there because Mikey loves to shred paper. Um, so I try to keep it contained to that area and then just some toys right in the middle of the room I have a hay rack on a rug for the bunnies just because I want to encourage them to eat as much as possible so that just contains the mess a little bit <laughs> underneath the rest of the cage there is a mini fridge that we keep their veggies in and then that blue bin holds all of their hay and then we do need to cut the piece of wood that the fridge is sitting on down a little bit. So I just put this rug here so that the bunnies can actually walk on the melamine piece there in case they want to hang out underneath there. On top of the table here, this is my favorite part of the updated tables, updated room. I have this nice little table space desk area basically. So I'm planning on using this for health checks, grooming, getting piggy weights, all that different stuff. So it's going to be a nice area. I could even sit here and edit my videos, whatever I wanted to do. So this is a super nice space. Also, it is the correct size so that I could reduce the girls down by one grid and then build a two by four CNC cage here just in case something happened or I needed to quarantine or another piggy or anything like that. So that is super nice. On top of here, I just have some storage and organization. So this is a heater that I turned off right now, but normally it is on and set to keep this part of the room at about 68 degrees. This window here does let a little bit of cold air in. So this side of the room is usually a little cooler than the other side. So I have the heater here just to kind of regulate the temperature and keep the whole room kind of at the same temperature. So that kicks on auto automatically and shuts off automatically when everything is the right temperature. So it's super nice to have up there on the table. Next to that, I have the pellets for the bunnies and the guinea pigs. Here, I just have our guinea pig, well, pet care binder. It's not just for the guinea pig, it's for everyone, but it has some cute guinea pig stickers on it. But I can show you guys that if you wanna see it. I made that myself. Here, we just have some storage and organization. So another cute guinea pig picture our scale for easy access. Um, I just threw our tomatoes up there instead of putting them in the fridge. And then Georgie's pellets are there because he does eat different food than the other pigs because he is picky. Then I just got these new drawers. So we have recovery food in that one, support tabs. Our health kit items are now in this drawer and then our grooming stuff is in that drawer. So I'm actually planning on doing a full organization walkthrough if you guys are interested later on this month if you wanna see what is in there. Finally, we are at the big part of the room pretty much. Um, this is our closet, it has all of our fleece in it. So, you know, extra things, extra hay, towels, bunny stuff smaller pads, our carpet cleaner, all different Heidi's and pads, treats, toys, um, other miscellaneous things. That drawer down there holds all our forage. So all of that good stuff is down there. We have our liners, 
our shop vac, and then back there is just cleaning supplies, bowls, um, a whole bunch of other random um, things <laughs> like stuffed animals and Heidi covers and all of that good stuff. So that is pretty much what is in the closet, a nice overview. I also did forget to mention this cute little guinea pig shaped chalkboard. I got this off Etsy and I will link it down below. I just have the tiny herd written on there. So I thought that was cute. So we have made it back to the start of the room. We just have our trash can against this wall and then a nice whiteboard here for me to write down anything we need to buy, shopping list, reminders, anything like that. So that is our entire pet room from start to finish. So I hope you guys enjoyed getting to see our updated pet room tour. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I will try to get back to you. Any relevant links will be down in the description box as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in our next video. Bye!